as far as I'm concerned, he shouldn't have even been on the road. He shouldn't have had a driver's license. Only on WLWT tonight, a young woman's world turned upside down in an instant. She was hit by a man who police say was driving drunk. Now the 22-year-old is fighting to get her life back. Haley Schott is paralyzed. She has to relearn basic tasks like speaking and moving her fingers. Tonight, in a story you will see only on WLWT, her family talks with our, our WLWT news host Karen Johnson about the accident that changed her life and how they're able to stay focused and stay strong. Karen. Well, Sherry, Haley Schott has been moved from UC and is being treated here at Health South Rehab. Now, let me take you back to September 25th. It was one month before Haley's 22nd birthday when her parents got a dreaded knock on the door. It was a Claremont County deputy with tears in her eyes saying their daughter had just been in a horrible accident. Sometimes in life, it's the little things we take for granted. As the Schott family has learned, those same things also keep us going. Just the smile on her face, you know, helps me be strong for her. Timothy Schott relies on that strength to help pull his family and his daughter Haley through this difficult time. She was always a daddy's girl, and uh, she still is, but, you know, it's, it's very hard to see your child um, laying there. Haley is paralyzed from the waist down. Her neck broken in three places. At one time she was on a ventilator. Her lung was pulled away from her chest wall. She had a feeding tube, a chest tube. Basically, machines were keeping her, her going. The day of the accident, Haley had been with friends. She had just left the Eastgate Mall when investigators say 50-year-old Craig Bush was driving drunk and slammed into Haley's car. Bush has five previous DUI convictions. We found he's also been arrested a handful of times for driving with a suspended license. He's robbed her of her life. But Haley is a fighter. She's in therapy three hours a day, can now eat and breathe on her own. Family, friends, and words of affirmation surround her, as does her family's faith in God. Been talking to him a lot, you know, and we just pray that he's listening. And I think so far he has. Despite the physical, emotional, and financial toll, the shots say the progress Haley makes every day is a reminder not to give up. We still got a long road ahead of us. She's going to come out on top. Um, we're never going to give up. She's going to walk again. And Haley's parents and aunt are with her here at Hell South, taking turns staying with her around the clock. Because of that, they had to take time off work, and medical bills are now at more than half a million dollars. So friends are putting together for the Love of Haley benefit. It's Saturday, December 27th at the Holiday Inn Eastgate. And Haley tells me she is determined to make it there. Reporting live tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thank you. For more information on that benefit, just go to our website, WLWT.com.